What I'm doing now is a long-term review of a Shimano Alfine 11 speed internal hub with DI2 electronic shifting. Uh, the bike is fitted as to a Scott Sub 10 and it's a commuter bike and it's got 13,000 miles on it now. This is the second Alfine hub that's been on the bike. The first, the original hub was an 8 speed that lasted about eight and a half thousand miles before um, it, it failed due to water ingress. I replaced it with the Alfine 11, which this one's got four and a half thousand miles on it now. And the 11 speed I've got fitted with the DI2 electronic shifting. So this is the, the hub itself here. And we've got the chain drive there. And this unit here, this is the, the motor unit for electronic shifting. Operation of the hub is simplicity itself. You have two buttons here, and that controls the shifting. One button for up, one button for down, and you've got the electronic display. Shifting is lightning fast. As fast as you can press the button, it'll shift and you don't need to be pedaling when you're shifting. Absolute superb when it, um, uh, functionality. Whilst the operation of the hub itself it has been um, faultless, uh, and yeah, performance-wise in terms of, of shifting, it is just so smooth, it never ever misses a shift. It is absolutely brilliant. And you don't need to adjust it or anything. There's no cables to adjust like on the cable operated one to, to get the shift in right. It's absolutely flawless. But long term, there's two major issues with, with this hub, which is why I would not recommend it. The first one occurred after around about 3,000 miles and it's oil leak on the non-drive side. So this is the non-drive side and you can just see here I know the bike's covered in dirt, but right here, that is oil. It's not dirt off the road, it's oil, and it's leaking from the non-drive side bearing. Uh, or to be more precise, the seal around the bearing. And I have to clean this off on, on a regular basis else it gets onto the brake rotor and affects the braking performance. The other issue with, with the bike is, uh, or, sorry, with the Alphine 11, is the DI2 system itself. And there is a big, big problem with it, which will not occur on uh, a bike with derailleurs, but it does um, affect uh, the internal hub gear on the Al Alphine. This motor unit, believe it or not, is only one week old. Uh, it's a brand new replacement and the problem is the cable, this little wire runs along here and plugs into the motor unit. I'll, I'll show you a clearer one in a second. The junction between the cable and the motor unit, it's a waterproof junction but it's on the axle uh, and it gets covered in dirt. The, the connectors are not designed to come apart multiple times. In fact, the actual instructions say, you know, don't pull them apart unnecessarily. Unfortunately, with an internal hub gear like this, every time you take the back wheel out, you have to uh, disconnect and reconnect this. And it, the connectors are quite small and they get um, covered in, in dirt and they fail. This connector's uh, it's coming up to 18 months old. It's got about um, four, four and a half thousand miles on it, and I've just had to replace it. Uh, I had to replace the connect, the, the actual wire, and the motor, the unit, just because the connector's gone. If you want to change the sprocket, you have to take the wheel out. If you get puncture, you have to take the wheel out. If you want to inspect the or change, or inspect or change the rear brake pads, you have to take the wheel out. And every time you take, have to take the wheel out, you have to undo this, connect, this cable. It's a f fundamental problem with the Alfine 11 Di2. So this is the motor unit uh, uh, and the 
cable that I just had to re uh, replace. There was fundamentally nothing wrong with this motor unit other than I cannot get this connector to actually ma make a connection. And if that happens, you will not be able to change gear on the bike. You're stuck in whatever gear you're in. Um, it is worth noting that if you ever do take one of these off the hub, you need to have the, it um, set into first gear before you take it off, as you're going to have problems getting it back on to, together again. It's a bit difficult to actually try and rig up any other kind of connector. The, the actual wire itself, it's a, you can see it's a, it's a two-core cable, and those wires are absolutely tiny. So trying to um, put a, some dip, leave this one as a permanent connector and put a, another one in somewhere here, it, it, it's a non-starter. So that is the problem I've had. So this has only lasted just over a year. I had problems with it last time um, for the last few months, and last time I took it, I had to take the wheel out. I had to use um, solvent and a hair dryer and cotton buds to clean the connectors, and I could only just get it to make a connection then. And then the next time I had to take the wheel out when I got a puncture. That was it. I just could not get a connector, so I had to buy a new motor unit. Uh, and, a, and a new wire and in, in my view this is absolutely real fundamental flaw with di2 on the alfini 11 hub